The Bar Colorado is meant to be the first owned skate that you can buy if you are sick using rental skates but also don't have the aspiration to play hockey with them. If this skate is any good for freestyle ice skating, I'll tell you later in the video. And about the advantages such a skate can deliver, we'll talk right after the intro. Let's talk about the target group of this skate first. This skate is clearly meant to be the perfect fit for recreational skaters, for people who, as I just said in the intro, don't like to use rental skates anymore, for people who are thinking about buying their first own pair of skates just for hitting the ice rink from time to time without any aspirations in playing hockey or anything. If you want to buy your first own skate and you don't want to buy it at Walmart or any cheap shopping center like Aldi, you want to go for something that has a name, something that was built by a brand, by engineers who mainly build ice skates, then this is the skate of choice. It might also be a good choice for people who are recreational skaters, have hockey skates and don't like the kind of comfort hockey skates deliver. Then if you want to do a step back more into the comfort zone, this skate might also be a reasonable skate for you. Now let's have a look on the recreational skates line of Bauer overall. I will check out their homepage and it says glide in style, explore our newest lifestyle skates, Bauer Tramblant glides inspired by the panoramic views of Mount Trembant. Down there it's not Trembant, it's Tremblant. So what is right, Trembant or Tremblant? Anyway, they call those skates, those recreational skates, glides and at the moment they offer free glides, the Bauer Tremblant. It's also written with an L here, which is new, looks a little bit like a girl skate, the same here with the, with the fur at the top. They call it Whistler glides and, as we have them here, the Colorado glides. And Bauer says about them, skates built for all. Built for all in this case definitely means something like everybody who likes to ice skate because for all would also include hockey players. I don't think that this is meant to be. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, any first step on a special sheet of ice bags for an equally special pair of skates. Stylish, comfortable and ready to carve memories at moment's notice. The newest line of Bauer Glides fit all types of skaters. Perfect for every member of the family looking to enjoy a laid back skate and take it in the scenery with great company. What a nice text. Overall, this means if you're a recreational skater and you like to skate and you want to have something more than rentals, this is the skate you should go for. This is the line of skates you should go for. Let's talk about the skate itself. What kind of features, what kind of special features compared to other skates does this skate offer? And the first thing you have to say, this skate is made to be comfortable. The main reason this skate is existing is that Bauer also wants to offer comfortable recreational skates and this is clearly what this skate is made for. I can call it a special feature that the inside of this skate is fully, I have to be careful otherwise I cut myself, the inshoe of this skate is fully removable and washable. I would really like to have this feature with my hockey skates because a fully removable and washable inside, of course, gives you some kinds of comfort. The inside is actually pretty comfortable. Yeah, everything is soft. You can even remove the insole, which is nothing special. At the places where the inside shoe and the outside shoe might have the most contact and maybe rub, they are made a little bit stronger and here at the tongue it looks and feels pretty basic with this special leaf uh, toppings, removal washable inshoe definitely a feature that has its pros but also has its cons because if you can remove it if it's not fixed with the main boot then of course there's some space in between and the transformation of the force of your foot to the shell of the boot to the blade is of course a little bit longer so the precision of the skate definitely will be lower. Now let's have a look on the outside shell of this boot without the inside. What I can see in here is there is another plastic insole between the screws that are holding the holder down. There's this plastic insole probably to protect the in shoe. Yeah, it's a pretty basic plastic shell with some design details, some stitchings here. 
overall. This reminds me a little bit to a rental skate. A rental skate also has this plastic shell on the outside and on the inside you have like a removable washable in shoe but I guess the inside is not getting washed that often at rentals. If we take back up the boot as a whole with the inside or the in-shoe inside, you can see the lacing system pretty standard, pretty basic. And here the top, I don't even know how this is called in German, but this reminds me definitely more like a trekking shoe or a hiking shoe than an ice skate where you can see here at the top. I guess there are some rental skates and some ice skates which have this lacing system as well, but I've never seen this at Bauer skates, to be honest. I know some of the recreational skates also have this lacing system. So I guess for soft boots like this, to get some more force on the entire shell and to fix everything in place, this has to be a good solution. And also this is a good solution because you don't have to always put the laces out of the holes so you just open this up and it's opened anyways and it's easier to get in and out of the skate so that's probably the reason why a lot of recreational skates have this kind of lacing system and so this skate has. So that's the theory about it. Oh, nearly forgot. The T-Blade system, this is at least the skate I'm getting from T-Blade for this video, comes with a, looks like a normal black, I can't imagine that this is carbon fiber, so I guess this is a regular black holder. We have black runners, we have black stabilizers, but in this price areas where this skate sits, you can't expect to get metal screws. So we have the plastic nut and screw system from T-Blade. So if you are going for this skate, my recommendation as always is to order the more expensive metal screws. But recreational skaters, most of the time, they don't exchange their runners that often. So if you're a recreational skater who wants to try his first steps on freestyle on this boot, I think this can work, but then I would go for the metal screws. If you just buy them at T-Blade for recreational skating, then I guess the plastic nuts and screws will do the job. All right, guys, so far with the theory about this skate, let's see if the skate is able to bring my power on the ice at my hometown ice rink, Max Eich Arena Insel. By the way, Max Eich Arena Insel, before I forget it, it's now written on my merchandise. Max Eich Arena Insel is now officially partnering with me and gives me the possibilities to do my videos there as they did before, but now as an official partner. And I'm proud to call Max Eich Arena Insel my official partner now. That's the reason why it's written on my merch so if you don't have the latest merch with Max Eicher and Insel on it get it right now linked in the description now let's get to my favorite ice cream. all right guys and here we are at my hometown ice rink with the Bauer Colorado I don't want to talk too long I want to go inside of it to get the first feel. What I have to say, it feels a little bit tight here in the forefoot area. Not too strong, I just feel that there's a good, let's say a good contact in the boot. Overall, it feels very soft. As I said, it feels like a, like a trekking shoe, like a hiking shoe, if this is the correct word. So comfortable, yes, but you also feel the stiffness, you feel a bit of pressure everywhere so the fit is definitely good so i've chosen the right size it's weird to close an ice skate like that because the laces as you know we don't have wax laces here we have those round laces as i said more like a hiking boot so everything is a little bit feeling different i didn't use my full energy to tighten it up and i can feel that here at the top area it's definitely way looser than it is with my high level skate don't know if this is the plan of power but i give it a little bit more force make it tighter make the fit better overall so far what i definitely feel is the contact the pressure the overall fit everything is a little bit different in here we are very close to rental skates if i stand up it feels very similar to rental skates by the way if you're wondering why my head is chopped off now my cameraman is not here now so i have to put it on a tripod so now i can see it anyway there's definitely something that's holding me here in the top area also pressure from the sides but the soft inside boot is keeping me a little bit from too much pressure like I have it in my carbon fiber skates. It's not heavy, it's also not lightweight, it's on the heavier side, let's say it like that. I could now try to tell you a lot about those skates, but I guess the best thing is we are now going on the ice when my cameraman is there. By the way, guys, 
guys, if you like this video and you want to see more skate reviews in the future, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So we definitely have the classical soft boot feeling here. So the touch, everything has a little delay. If I put some pressure to the ice at the tip, it's a little bit more precise, but the heel sideways, everything is a little bit softer, has a little bit of a delay. The heel feels a little bit further down to the ice. So overall the foot is more flat. Some of a hockey skate where you feel that you have a little bit more pressure on the toes. Here it's like laying a little bit on the back. It's actually quite solid so I can feel that the plastic shell still keeps me where I want to be. Especially here over the ankle. I have some pressure points. Nothing painful but you can feel that the plastic shell of the skate ends somewhere. So definitely not as precise as a hockey skate but also not as bad as a normal discounter soft boot is. So it's somewhere between comfort and performance. Don't know how to say it, so I'm going to test it further with some footwork. Okay, footwork. I told you about the delay that the softness of this skate has to bring my precise motions to the ice. And this delay is absolutely noticeable in footwork. Because of the good support of the plastic shell, footwork is still possible, but the delay makes everything a little bit slower, a little bit harder, at least for me, who is used to rock solid hockey skates for footwork. Also what I can feel is that this skate is a little bit bigger than the hockey skates are that I'm normally testing, because normally I have at the Bauer skates a 280 system length, but here I have a free now so it's two sizes larger and even one size larger than my graph skate so the blade is also a little bit longer I don't know what kind of effect that makes but the effect of the way bigger foot and the way softer skate definitely makes a difference footwork is possible it's still very comfortable but the precision is missing now we're going to power with some line breaks <laughs> Okay, this skate does everything I want from him, but with a little bit of delay and it definitely eats my power away. So the skate is definitely heavier than regular hockey skate and it's also softer, so I have to carry around more. And I also, when I stop, there's this softness that makes everything asking for a little bit more of my ankle tension in my own leg than the skate supporting me. So power, precision, the line breaks definitely possible, but harder than with a hockey skate, but for that allows also more mistakes. And now a chapter where it won't allow too many mistakes are precision stops, what we are doing right now. All right guys, precision stops work way better than expected to be honest. Now the supportive shell gives me the support I need. The power I put into the stops is not that noticeable to be honest. And the softness takes out those little bumps you have at those precise stops and makes everything go smooth and soft. So precision stops actually work great. But the softness of the skate can also have its flaws at the next chapter, which are ground touches. <laughs> What I have to say at the end about this skate. It is what you expect 
from a soft boot, from an entry level or recreational skater approach of a skate, but better. At the moment you're trying to do more with the skate than just skating around, it will definitely help you, it will definitely support you. Not in the way a hockey skate will do, even a beginner range hockey skate will support you better, but still nothing or not a lot is impossible with this skate. If you want to go for comfort, if you want to go for a skate that fits you from the first second without breaking it in, if you're a recreational skater, if you want to take it easy, this skate will serve you perfect. But also if you want to do, let's say some beginner freestyle, but you're more in a comfortable way of skating. So probably you want to do freestyle, you had soft boots and you don't want to go to a hockey skate. This skate will serve you well. This is perfect in between, but also good for beginners. Bauer definitely made a great job here of approaching soft boot and recreational skates. If we're talking about price points, this skate will come to you with the T-Blade system for $189.99. But if you purchase the skate now with my code Alpine Ice Freestyle 15, from now, Tuesday, when I upload this video, till Sunday, so the Sunday after the upload, the first five days of the video, if you purchase the skate in this time with this code, then you will save 15% on the Bauer Colorado. So if you want it, go for it now. You won't get it cheaper in the next time, especially not with the T-Blade system. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for the algorithm. Please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything in the future. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. Feel free to check out my merch. That's it for today, guys. See ya!